hello everyone welcome back to another video after a long time in today's video we are going to talk about environmental statistics in which these following topics will be covered first of all we should know that what is statistics so statistics is that branch of science or mathematics which deals with the theories and methods of collection analysis and interpretation of data in other words we can say that with the use of statistics we can describe our data and we can also draw the inferences from that data which is available to us next we should know that how it help us or what are the usefulness of statistics first it helps us to give the comparison of data second we can classify large quantities of data and present it in simple form third we can also find the relationship between the independent and dependent variable fourth it helps us to plan for the upcoming future next we must also know some limitations of statistics as we know that data are numbers which implies that this statistics is only applicable to quantitative data second is that data are used in collective sense not singular so with the use of statistics only the analysis of collective matters is possible third and most important point to note is that the result of statistics depends on the sample so if the selection of sample is biased or it has some error the result will also be affected now let's see the classification of data if we talk in a broad way then there are two types of data first one is qualitative data which can also be known as non measurable characteristics or attributes second one is quantitative data which is known as measurable characteristics or variables the qualitative data are those in which there is no numerical relation with one another so they have no magnitude and these are always discrete which means that they can only take a finite number of value or a fixed value the qualitative data are expressed as ratio or proportion on the other hand the quantitative data are those in which there is numerical relation with one another they may be discrete or continuous they have magnitude and these are analyzed through statistical methods like mean mode standard deviation the some examples of discrete variable under quantitative data are the number of books or the marks obtained in exams and the examples of continuous variable under quantitative data are height and weight of a person next on the basis of source of collection of data these can be classified as primary data or secondary data the primary data are those which are directly collected from field or experiment so these provide us with detailed information and they are free from errors on the other hand the secondary data are obtained from primary data or review due to which the some information may be suppressed and they may contain some errors one important point or benefit of secondary data is that it is cost effective the methods of collection of primary data are investigation observations questionnaires schedules and interviews as we know that presentation of data is very important so there are three ways in which the statistical data is presented first if they are presented in the descriptive form they are known as 
टेक्स्ट रिप्रेजेंटेशन सेकेंड इफ दे आर प्रेजेंटेड इन सिस्टमैटिक रोज एंड कॉलम्स इन अ टेबल देन इट इज नोन एज टैबुलर प्रेजेंटेशन थर्ड वन इज दी ग्राफिकल प्रेजेंटेशन इन विच दे आर प्रेजेंटेड बाय ग्राफ्स एंड चार्ट देर आर टू डिफरेंट मोड्स टू प्रेजेंट दी डेटा ग्राफिकली फॉर अनग्रुप डेटा दैट इज द डेटा विच इज इन दी रॉ फॉर्म वी यूज लाइन ग्राफ्स बार ग्राफ्स पाई चार्ट और पिकटो ग्राफ्स एंड फॉर द डेटाज विच इज ग्रुप्ड दैट इज दीज आर ऑर्गेनाइज इन टू फ्रिक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वी यूज हिस्टोग्राम पॉलीगिन एंड ओ गिब्स दैट इज दैट इज क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रिक्वेंसी कर्व नेक्स्ट इज दी स्केल्स ऑफ मेजरमेंट इन स्टैटिस्टिक्स देर आर फोर डेटा मेजरमेंट स्केल्स फर्स्ट वन इज नॉमिनल विच गिवस दी नेम्स टू दी वेरिएबल्स एंड इट डज नॉट कंटेन एनी क्वान्टिटेटिव वैल्यू सेकेंड वन इज ऑर्डिनल स्केल इन विच विथ नेम्स द रैंक ऑर्डरिंग इज ऑल्सो गिवन टू दी वेरिएबल्स एंड हेयर ऑल्सो नो क्वान्टिटेटिव वैल्यू इज गिवन एज इट ओनली गिवस दी लेवल्स ऑफ सेटिस्फैक्शन थर्ड वन इज द इंटरवल इन विच बोथ ऑर्डर नेम एंड एग्जैक्ट डिफरेंस बिटवीन द वेरिएबल्स इज नोन बट दे डोंट हैव ट्रू जीरो लास्ट वन इज द रेशो विच इज द बेस्ट स्केल एंड इट इज द करेक्ट स्केल बिकॉज इट हैज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ नॉमिनल ऑर्डिनल इंटरवल एंड इट ऑल्सो हैज द ट्रू जीरो नाउ द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ नॉमिनल स्केल कैन बी आई कलर दैट इज ब्लैक और ब्राउन ऑफ ऑर्डिनल स्केल इट कैन बी academic scores or percentiles for interval scale the examples can be celsius scale fahrenheit scale or percentage and for ratio the example is the kelvin scale as previously we have talked that uh, sample sampling is very important so now let's see that what is sampling so sampling is a technique of obtaining the information about the whole group by only examining the part of the whole group so the whole group is the population and sample is the subset of this population so what we have to do is to study any population we take the sample from that population the there are two population which can be target population and accessible population according to the sampling the target population is determined by the sampling criteria and the accessible population is which which is available to the researcher there are two objectives of sampling first is the estimation of population parameter and second is to test the hypothesis which is about the population only on these two objectives there are different types of sampling methods first one is probability sampling method which includes simple random sampling cluster sampling systematic sampling and the stratified random sampling whereas second one is non probability sampling methods which are the convenience sampling judgmental or purpose purposive sampling snowball sampling and the quota sampling now let's see the difference between the statistics and parameter the statistical measures which are calculated on the basis of sample observations are known as statistics whereas the parameters are the statistical measures which are based on all the units in the population the study of 
sample is done by survey whereas the study of population is done by the census. The statistics characterizes samples whereas the parameter characterizes population. As we know that the sample is the unbiased estimate of the population so it can be directly worked out whereas the parameters cannot be directly worked out. Statistics keeps on changing that is it variates as the sample variates whereas the parameters of population have fixed quantity. Here you can see that the statistics and parameter are represented by different letters. For statistics we use Latin letters whereas for parameters we use Greek letters. Now let's solve some questions to get to know what we have learned today. I will wait for some seconds so that you can also guess the answer. Now here the first question is time clocked by an athlete in a 100 meter race is an example of which type of variable. So here the correct answer is option second that is continuous variable. Next question is in an objective type examination there are 100 questions. One mark is awarded for each correct answer and 0 0.125 marks are deducted for each incorrect answer. The number of marks that are scored by the student in this examination is an example of which type of variables. So here as the number of marks are fixed so it is discrete variables. Next question is a bar graph whose bars are drawn in decreasing order of frequency is and here the correct answer is option number 3 that is Pareto chart. Next question is graphically depicting a group of numerical data through their quartile is and here the correct option is option number 3 that is box plot. Next question is a graphical representation where frequencies are plotted against class intervals is called And here the correct option is option number 3 that is histogram. Next question is a good sample design should result in which of the following. And here the correct option is option number A that is a truly representative sample. Next question is. A complete enumeration of all items in the population is known as and here the correct option is option C that is census. Next question is the term parameter is an attribute associated with the data pertaining to And here the correct option is option B that is population. Last these are the two questions which we have which you have to answer in the comment section. So, so that's all for today. Hope you liked it. Till then thanks for watching.